All right, hello and welcome to this awesome presentation. My name is Ryan Anglin. I am an employee here at Vision Data and Communication Services, and today we're going to look at how to make a Visio map. All right, it's pretty simple, uh, not, not too difficult at all. Uh, basically, we have a few steps we need to follow, and the first one is to get a floor plan. Uh, you can take a picture of it at the hospital or if you got a PDF uh, from an accompanying company we work with, uh, you can use that, download it. Next thing we're going to do is once you have that PDF or picture, we're going to use the snipping tool, and we'll talk about that in a second, on, and take a photo of it on the computer. Take a photo of a photo. And then uh, we're going to next, after we get that photo, we're going to paste it onto Visio, um, size it, make sure the size is correct, and then we're going to lock it down. So... The first thing you got to do is get the picture of the floor plan. So um, I already have a PDF of that, so I will go ahead and use that. Um, here it is. It's called the example floor plan. We'll click that. And as you can see, uh, there is a floor plan here. And this is a floor plan of one of the buildings we've done. I've uh, uh, cut out some identifying information. However, uh, we're going to use this and take a picture of it. Um, using the snipping tool to then put it on Visio. What is the snipping tool? So if you go to your start bar and you type in snipping tool, at least on Windows, if you have Windows, this will work. If you have a Mac, you're going to have to download it. Um, you can download the snipping tool um, if you don't have it on your Windows machine, but all Windows, at least Windows 8 and up, will have the snipping tool already in it. Um, so um, if you don't have it, go online to uh, Microsoft, uh, the App Store in Microsoft, and you can download it there. I think it's called Screenshot Snipping Tool. Um, but you can go ahead and grab it if you already have it. Uh, we're going to click on it, and it's got these scissors and an oval shape. And a window pops up, and it's a snipping tool. Um, we want to make sure we're in the correct mode. We want to be in Rectangular Snip, and Rectangular Snip looks like this. Uh, if I open that back up, click New. And when I snip, it's going to be like a rectangle, right? You see how the whole screen is kind of gray except whatever I'm highlighting? Um, so once you do that, it takes a picture of whatever you highlighted. So uh, again, I'll click New. And now I just want to take a picture of this dot here. And it takes a picture of that dot. You see that? Okay. So make sure you're in rectangular mode. You can also do freeform if you want, but it, it doesn't look... Uh, doesn't look as appealing. So I'm in freeform mode, click new. And now I'm just cutting around, whatever. And we'll make some weird shapes. Boop, 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 boop. And look, there you go. Weird shape. So um, we'll go back to rectangular mode, click on new. All right, we want new. That uh, creates a new photo or a new snip. And we're going to, we're going to cut this whole floor plan within the SNP. Now before you do this, make sure um, you have the correct zoom. So you don't want to be too far in like this because snipping tool will not scroll down the PDF for you. It'll cut as far as you can go. So if I cut this right here and try to go down further, it won't do it. Um, it'll only it'll cut out actually all those apps that are on my taskbar. <laughs> so make sure uh, make sure you're on you got the right zoom going where you can capture the whole page in it. So uh, that looks pretty good to me. I don't think I can... I can zoom in a little more, but that gets cut off, so I don't want to do that. This will be a good size. Click on... Uh, where's that at? Snip tool. New. Rectangular mode. And we'll just take it from this corner, make sure we get everything inside. Looks good. I got a little bit of red up here. I don't want that, so... We'll just click new again and make sure we get all the important structures in there. And that looks about good. All right. And so, um, again, when I do this, I am clicking and I'm holding down uh, the left button on the mouse, the left, left click on mouse pad, and I'm holding it as I'm scrolling through. So uh, if I let go of it, it, it captures it. So you want to click and hold. Capture whatever you want to capture, and let go of your left click, Boop. and there it is. There's the photo. So now that we have the photo, step one is done. We're going to save it, and we're going to save as, uh, it's already going to save as a PNG, which is a photo type, a photo file format, right? So um, 
We'll save this to my desktop. That way it's easy to find. Floor plan is what we'll call it. You can call it whatever you want. Save. And we'll exit out of snipping tool. We no longer need that. And we'll exit out of the PDF. Now, here is my floor plan PNG. And when I take it, boom, it comes up, which is awesome. All right, that's what we want. So now we're going to go to Visio, and uh, we're going to go to New. All right, you want a new new document, blank drawing, and we want it in U.S. units. Okay, we don't want metric. You can't do metric, but we'll just stick for U.S. for uh, consistency. Create. And if you notice, there's a page, blank page that comes up. Great, that's what we want. So what we're going to do now is step number two, which was... Oh, I'm sorry. Step number three, which was paste that photo onto Visio. Okay, so we already we already got the picture. We already used the snipping tool. We're going to paste it onto Visio. So grab that photo, open it up, and you can uh, Control C is what I use, uh, but you can also right click on it and copy, and go to Visio. And what do you think we're going to do? Paste. Boom. And there it is. Now is that all you do? No. All right, we got to size it up, make it look nice. Because when I scroll into this, I mean, it's it's kind of clear. But that's as far as I can scroll in, right? If somebody's doing an assessment of a hospital, they uh, you want to make sure they can place that phone exactly where it is on this map, right? So um, maybe it's like right next to this little box, and I want to denote that, okay? So I can only zoom in 400%. Which is not good. I, I, you know, I really want to get down in there and and, and see uh and see how close I can get it. So, uh, zoom back out and make this, you know, pretty big. So we'll we'll put it up here and we'll uh, use the diagonals. All right. So whenever you're sizing this, you don't want to use the left and right like this. Don't do that. Or the up and down. Don't do that. All right. Uh, we'll control Z. Oh, by the way. Tip uh, Control Z. That um, pretty much lets you undo whatever actions you've done um, previously. So uh, let's say I accidentally make it too small, and I don't I don't know what size it was. Maybe it was out here. Maybe it was out here. Maybe it was right here. How do I go back? So if you Control Z, and Control Z again, Control Z again, Control Z again, Control Z again, right? Uh, it takes you back every single action you've done. So um, I'm going to copy this one more time, throw it back on. All right, and I'll use my diagonals to make it pretty big. All right, and I'm going to zoom out to, we'll say 37%. That's probably a good size. And we'll kind of center this a bit and make it pretty, pretty big. That way you can... You can surf around and see all the good details. All right, I think that's pretty good. Um, you can also use your arrows on your keyboard to um, position this map. So I, I kind of want the dots, the dotted lines, to be where the the circles are here, right? To keep it kind of centered. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just kind of make it look clean. And I think that's a good size. Now, if I zoom in. 100%. I'm pretty good. I still got 300%, and I can really get I can really get down in there, right? I can get into the nitty gritty, and that's what we want. So, wanted a, a pretty big size. I'll make it just a little bit bigger and put those dots right on the dotted lines. All right. So that's pretty much that's that's about it for at least pasting it onto Visio. So now that we've got that step done, what's next? All right, we sized it correctly. We already got that done. Paste it, sized it, cool. Now we got to lock it down. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, lock this down. Why do we want to lock it down? Pretty much so you don't do this, right? You don't want to, you don't want anybody moving the map at all. You want them placing boxes on it, and that's it. So to lock this down, we're gonna select it, and I'm just make it center. There we go. Select the uh, the image, okay. And the funny thing about Visio. Or one of the great things about Visio is uh, Visio has something called layers, okay? And uh, layers are just what you think of it, like a sandwich, right? There's bread, there's meat, 
there's lettuce, you know, tomato, sauce, and then there's, you know, whatever's, whatever you want to put on top of it. So uh, right now, our our bread at the bottom is the uh, Visio drawing, right? And we're going to make this uh, map basically our sauce or our meat, right? We're going to stack it on top of it. So um, to uh, to do that, we got to assign it, right? We got to say what type of meat is it pretty much, or we got to say it's the second layer to Visio. So how do we do that? So uh, if you go to home and uh, make sure the image is selected, which it is, if you go to home and you go all the way over to editing, layers, assign to layer. Okay, so we're gonna give it, we're gonna give it a layer. We're gonna say it's ham or it's beef, right? It's not the, it's not the bread. It's the ham or the beef. So assign it. Uh, we'll call, give it a name for this layer, and we'll say it's uh, the floor, floor plan layer. Click OK. And congratulations, we made a layer. OK. So now what? Go back to home. Uh, and one thing, I was only assigned it a layer, right? So I can still move this thing wherever I want, which is not good. So now we got to log it down, right? Log it down. Home. Layers. Uh, and we've already assigned it a layer. So it, it's assigned. It's saying it's ham. It's beef. Now, what about the hammer beef, or what about this layer? We're going to go to layer properties, okay, and we see the floor plan. We're going to lock, and now if I click apply and okay, it should lock it. You shouldn't be able to select it, move it around, nothing. It's good to go. Click apply. There you see the select, uh, the select buttons or the select little circles go away. Click okay, and now we're good to go, okay? Can't move it. Can't touch it, nothing. All right, so that's pretty much how you make a Visio map in the shortest. Don't forget to rename uh, the floor plan. So if this is, uh, I don't know, uh, what's a good hospital? New York Hospital. So I'd say New, New York Hospital, and this is first, capital F, L, first floor. Okay, so let's say there's a second floor, you know, uh, second floor. Okay, um, if there, you do the same thing, same process, right? You, uh, you paste it, you size it, all that good stuff. Um, however, with this, whenever you make a new tab or a new uh, floor, um, you again have to make a, you have to assign it a layer. You have to tell it what type of, you know, what type of meat is it? Or uh, is it lettuce? Is it tomato? Which, which layer? So um, we'll just say second floor. Okay, so it's the second floor. And uh, again, you have to assign it and uh, lock it down um, back here in the layers. So you do have to do that for every tab. That is one caveat. Okay. Um, it doesn't, there's no more floor plan layer. There's only, floor plan layer is only on this tab. It can't be on the second tab. So um, as you practice and as you uh, build your own maps, you'll kind of, you'll, you'll get the gist of it. But I encourage you to do that. Um, to uh, stop this video or once this video is over, go on your own Visio and uh, try to do this. You know, use the PDF and use the snipping tool and, uh, you know, mesh the two together. So that's how you do it. That's how you make a Visio map uh, for assessing and uh, doing phone assessments. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful and uh, gave you value. If it did, give it a thumbs up, which would be awesome. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, see you next time.